I've made a few videos on how to create an NFT collection on the Polygon network. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to deploy to Ethereum. About every other comment that I get on YouTube is, how can I deploy this to Ethereum? So let me show you how. This video is going to be an update to the minting dApp video. So if you haven't watched that one yet, be sure to watch it for all of the details. The final code for you to download is linked in the description below. And if you have any issues, I get bombarded with DMs and comments and I just can't get to all of them. The best way to get help is through my Discord server. And I try to answer as many questions there as I can too. And fortunately, there are many others there that can help as well. The link to the Discord server is in the description as well. And be sure to stick around to the end for a special announcement that you don't want to miss. A quick disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor and everything that I present in this video is for educational purposes only. If you're looking for financial advice, please consult a professional. So all of my NFT videos so far have focused on ways of creating NFTs and NFT collections for very little or even no money at all. Ethereum though is completely different. This is going to cost you money and if you make any mistakes, it's going to cost you even more money to fix them if they can even be fixed at all. If you're not sure what you're doing, you could end up wasting a lot of money. I'm not trying to scare you, I just want to make sure that you understand that this is real money. Now, all of the contracts that I've used in my videos so far have utilized the NFT port service, and they make it super easy to deploy a contract without having to know or understand any Web3 technologies, and that's really cool. They recently added support for deploying to Ethereum using their collection contracts. So in order to deploy to Ethereum, let's go over to the pricing page, so first off, you're going to need to subscribe to the growth plan, which is going to cost you $49 per month. And then to deploy to Ethereum, the contract itself is going to cost you $199. And then if you need to make any updates to the contract, each update is $59. And so it's very important that you plan ahead. If you have to change your uh, public minting date, for instance, then that's gonna cost you $59 just to do that. If you plan on doing a whitelist for pre-sale, each update is going to cost you $59. And so you would want to collect all of your whitelist uh, addresses and then send them all at once so that you only have to make that update to the contract once. And I'll be making a video on that very soon. So to put this into perspective, to deploy one contract is going to cost you at least $248. That's the price of the growth plan plus the contract deployment cost. And then if you make any updates to the contract, that's another $59 per update. Now the reason for the cost is because NFT port is paying the gas fees for these transactions. Every transaction on the Ethereum blockchain costs gas fees and they're not cheap. So NFT port has to charge for that. It makes sense. So let's run through the code to see what has changed. Now if you've already forked and cloned my mentor dApp repo, be sure to update your fork with the upstream and get the latest updates. In order to do that in a forked repo, you'll see fetch upstream and then fetch and merge and then be sure to sync the changes with your local clone. Also, be sure to go to the main repo and give it a star if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. So looking at the code, let's first go to uh, backend and then source and then config.js. In here, if we scroll down under NFT port info, in the chain, we can now choose between Rinkeby, Polygon, or Ethereum. So we could change this to Ethereum in order to deploy this contract to Ethereum. And everything else in this file works the exact same way as it did in the previous video. Now, after you deploy your contract and you run the get contract function, you're now going to get your contract details just like before. So that's gonna be under build, contract, and then underscore contract.json. And so this is going to be your deployed contract details. But now you're also going to get a contract ABI. And this is the specific contract ABI for your contract. And you're going to use this file in the front end in just a bit. So let's take a look at the front end folder now. So let's go over to front end and then JS and then constants.js. You'll notice in here that we can also choose between Rinkeby, Polygon, or Ethereum. So we could change this to Ethereum and now our front end would connect to Ethereum. And everything else in this file, again, is exactly the same as the previous video. You'll also notice in the JS file on the front end that there's now an ABI.js file. By default, this is going to be blank because the ABI is going to be different depending on which type of contract that you use. So again, remember we got our ABI for a contract on the back end from this contract underscore ABI JSON file. So what you'll do on the front end is copy all of this, control A, control C, and then paste that here for the ABI and then save this file. 
The API is responsible for defining your contract's pricing, methods, gas fees, and other things. And so if you have any issues with pricing showing up weird on the front end, or maybe your gas fees for transactions are being set too low, the issue is most likely your ABI. So you need to update that with the correct ABI for your contract. And those are all of the updates that enable you to deploy to Ethereum. Be sure that you test everything on the Rinkeby test chain before deploying to Ethereum so that you can practice and work out any kinks and keep you from wasting any money. You don't want to make any mistakes on Ethereum. And again, be sure to watch the original video for the complete walkthrough and then utilize these updates to deploy to Ethereum. Now to celebrate this update, I've created an Ethereum collection. It's the CodeStacker token. Now there's only 1000 of these available and they are completely free. You just have to pay the gas fees to mint them. It's limited to two tokens per wallet, so get them while you can. And these are a thank you to all of my closest supporters and to show that you are a true Stacker fan. Owners of these tokens will also get exclusive access to future benefits. More on that to come soon. Remember to join my Discord server for support. And if this video was helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more content like this.